This is one of my favorite tricks for lawnmowers, bush mowers. You can see this uh, little lawnmower, he's a little bit older. He's been around the bend a few times. You can see his wheel is real wobbly. It's kind of worn out on the axle there. The plastic wears in a little bit after the years of use. What happens is you get a lot of corrosion and build up from the old grease on the axle. And that uh, wears in away at the plastic in the wheel. And you get wobbly wheels. This one I've already fixed earlier. See, he is he was just as wobbly as that one. And see, he is nice and smooth now. He doesn't wobble at all, and he moves pretty smoothly. So, the trick to this is you got to get yourself some of these wonderful spacer washers and regular flat washers. So these are a half inch diameter for the hole. You see, he's thin, this little guy here. So I was trying to have a few of those on hand. And I have a bunch of these on hand as well. Standard flat washer, half inch hole. And that is the key to this repair. So not have to replace those wheels, because sometimes it's not worth it on an older motor like this to replace those wheels. So I'll grab my socket on the ratchet. And we'll see what we can do with this. There we go. Not everything has to be expensive. Nothing has to be difficult. So you can see that axle on that guy. He is pretty darn rusty and full of old crud from the old grease. So I'll grab the uh, angle grinder with the cup brush on there. And using my safety glasses and air protection, I will clean that up and we'll come back in a sec. All right, so after about 30 seconds worth of work with Mr. Cup Brush, that's one of my favorite, favorite tools for cleaning things up. I actually leave that brush on the that particular angle grinder all the time for cleaning up uh, things for welding or just this kind of thing. This, this makes a big difference in any axle shaft or anything like this, like guide pins or things like that. Keep things clean and working right and usually what I do is I fit it up first so I'll usually start with the I'll eyeball the the amount of slack there is in there you can see that's pretty flush with the edge of that axle shaft where the nut goes on so we'll pop that back on there you go tight there you go. All there is to it. So normally I, I'll grease that after I test fit and get everything fit up. And there's very little space there. And if you really want to make this completely perfect, what you have to do is you take Mr. Wheel, and you don't have to do this, but it's it's the the way to get it properly tight. You can custom fit each one of these. It depends on how uh, fussy your customer might be, but. This one isn't for a customer, this one's going out for a quick resale. What you can do is you can add an extra washer in here, and you can take and file the back part of that wheel, that hub, just a little to custom match the length. But in this case, he's going to be just fine. And we just take a bit of grease. And grease that up a little bit and I'll put a little bit of grease inside the, the wheel and I'll put grease on the washers and grease on both sides of the hub and that will be a nice moving wheel and it'll go straight ahead down the lawn makes it easier to push and lubricating your wheels and your axles are a great idea. That makes them not wear out like this. Keep those axles clean. You don't have that grease build up. And that keeps these wheels from wearing out. I tend to do this on a on some services sometimes when I'm servicing push mowers. If they're really bad. Just makes that push mower last a little longer. 
and makes for happy customers. Bango. It's a very little wobble. See, this one has almost no wobble. And that's one of my favorite tricks on push mowers.